I had a preconceived notion of the Great Bear Rainforest. Untouched wilderness. Vast tracts of land with little dis human disturbance through history. These were challenged from the very beginning and shifted my perspective of this unique part of the world. Being an outsider visiting, I was not sure if I would be accepted. The tourist gaze was always in the back of my mind. I began to look at the environment on scales, microcosm relationships that form interconnected networks that all depend on each other. Salmon, kelp forests, the landscape, and the people who have resided here for thousands of years. The collective inclusiveness of resource management and how people and communities live showed a side of First Nations I had not experienced before. These nations are taking a hold of their past and future to develop a sustainable path that can combat cultural dilution. Our boat of companions formed our own ecosystem, one of many in this diverse landscape. My own experience evolved and drove me away from a romantic standpoint of the area. Everything has an important relationship within this place, and everything plays a pivotal role. My education was not just about externalized learning, but provoked me to look inside myself and challenge many points of my own beliefs. Issues simple and complex were faced with open-mindedness, and in many cases, listening provided far more benefits than speaking my own mind. The experience is not just what we see, but the history, the connections we form, and essentially, what we learn about ourselves and how we use that to guide our own lives.